The contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. I'm Grizzly McBee. Thanks for watching. Only one reason she would attack Osni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. Uh-oh. So is he a traitor turned traitor? An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Essex <coughs> and bomb it to oblivion. A corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Okay. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. Okay. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset. And then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Excellent. What do you got to say, Grace? I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt True. them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the commander Best part is using of war. his tactical brilliance for our side. Very true. Let's focus on the mission. Just hope he's not setting us up for a trap. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Foster Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. Something just seems fishy. You. When Javes talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? I was born ready, kid. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about finding our oh, star. This is a frisk. tight space oh, here, sure, huh? Sure, sure, still. Better bomb this listing post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new do -do 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 and for no other reason. Temporary 
Guards, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Less, the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. Yeah. 
Those Imperials are on their own. Nice work. Imps won't be calling any reinforcements today. Let's regroup on Gunny's position. Sounds good. On our way to you, Vanguard leader. Lost my shields. My shift's disabled. Alright, five, four up at the edge of the station. It's time to take out the thermal systems. the vent. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be tricky. Squadron, 
Our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. The next step. Bomber, that's nice. All right, let's see what they got to say this time. All I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials, <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. <laughs> you know, we used to be rebels. We turned into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I took it for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? All right, let's see what we got in here. Just a briefing, okay. Congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victoro, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. <sighs> Alright, Ardo, what do you gotta say? If Lyndon's right, the plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> they can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, to see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. All right, Empire fish face. Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. That's what you gotta do. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Oh, well, I'm sure she does. Keep your eyes and ears open, alright? Third, you third. And Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. 
I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. Really? Doucheberry? All right, Fisk, what do you got to say? So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. Oh, yeah. All right, Grace. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Jade has had complete faith in its buildings. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every mm. spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. That's incredible. Hmm. The Magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing Magnite Crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Imperial 
ships are on radar. Scouts. Perfect. The boss's plan is working. Give them a show. Make sure they buy it. Dodge those fighters. Thanks. They closed on to my ship. Do this. <coughs> it's here. Yes. The overseer. Finally. We've drawn it in. Nobody panic. This is the plan. Defend the convoy and keep luring the overseer to the ambush point. How could you? Challenge an Imperial Star Destroyer. Gotta clear out the asteroids. The Overseer's gonna take out the convoy. Guess Teresa decided to handle this convoy herself. Fuck! <laughs> I hit the wrong damn one! Yeah, but... 
fast. We could end up in the middle of a star or worse. Stay and we die for sure. Move! <laughs> Works. It tossed the overseer around like a loaf rat. Good. Lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Well, let's hope so. Look at there, finally got an efficiency medal. Finally. Whew. Feels good.